Hello, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can frame basic floor trusses within Vertex BD. Let's have a look at framing basic floor trusses for our tutorial home. We're going to look at framing our ground floor trusses, but this process is very much the same for with other floor levels. Firstly, as you can see, we have our reference drawing loaded for our tutorial home. Next, we want to right click and select add floor. Alternatively, you can select it from up here within the modeling tab. Once we've selected add floor, the component properties window will open. Within here, we need to select floor trusses from within the standard structures section of the structure library and type box shown here. Choose the floor truss you require or here you can add any custom floor trusses if required. Creating these we will detail in future videos so for now we will just select the 300mm floor trusses shown. Now with our truss selected Vertex is ready for us to specify our floor area where we will be creating our floor trusses. As you can see we apply the floor area as shown selecting the required contour line grip points as per our reference drawing for where our floor is required for our project. We select each corner where the floor trusses will meet the later wall framing we add. Once all have been selected, we then press the OK or hit the Enter key to confirm our selection. Next, we need to select the floor truss option from within the truss section of the modeling tab as shown on screen. Once you've selected this, Vertex will ask you to select your floor area that we previously created. Select that using your left mouse button. Vertex is then ready for you to locate your first truss so it can implement your floor truss structure as required. If you right click in the workspace, you can select to change the orientation of your trusses to be for example horizontal, vertical, etc. In our case, we will utilize the default and we will locate our first truss here as shown on screen. Once you have done this, Vertex will ask if you would like to select bearing components, e.g. walls and beams on that level if you have those already modeled. Then select those now as shown and once completed, hit enter on your keyboard or select OK. Next, we select each truss of our floor truss structure, and once we've done so, we navigate to our framing tools section in the ribbon as shown. Here, we can amend our truss structure to a variety of different types of trusses, including any custom ones we have produced and that are located here, should that be applicable. In this instance, we will utilize an LGS floor structure and so we select that from the library section and choose Generated Trust Chamfered Ends and press OK. With the structure for our trusses chosen, we can then go about generating all our parts and panels for our walls and floor framing and trusses. To generate our trusses, we select them, right click, and we choose Generate Parts as shown. Once the generation process is completed, we can quickly hide our walls and the top of our floor, and as you can see, our basic floor truss structure is completed. Thanks for joining us today and stay tuned for more in-depth videos on creating advanced floor trust systems coming soon.